My Lords, um, this Justice and Home Affairs Committee report has covered a lot of territory and has clearly highlighted a lot of the real problems with the government policy. And its recommendations are very, well, I would say sensible. Uh, clearly, the government doesn't agree with them. But uh, there was one thing that perhaps the Minister could answer now, and that is the Committee called for increased funding towards Home Office services to overcome delays and to reduce application fees. Now, we know that the, problem, the problems that we have with the cost of hotel stays and the barges are all down to the government because they chose not to actually set up a proper system for all these asylum seekers, for all those people. And I don't see why you couldn't have taken some advice from uh, this report, because looking at the government's response, it's really not very good. And it suggests that uh, perhaps somebody who responded to this uh, didn't really read the report properly. Now, we know that the government's treatment of asylum seekers has, has been abysmal, and you've created a backlog that clearly you can't clear up in the available time before you're thrown out of government, and the next government is going to have to do it for you. And I think that's quite shameful that you leave such a mess behind you for, uh, for the next government to, to sort out. <clears throat> and personally, I, I do feel that if we put aside all the things that we should feel towards people who are in such distress, if we put aside um, our compassion, our humanity, uh, our respect for the law, our respect for welfare of anyone in Britain, we could at least look at the financial and economic benefits of immigration. And the fact is, uh, with an ageing population, we need other people. And what you are doing, what the government is doing, by actually inhibiting access to this country from, but by people who, who need to be here to look after their children and so on. You are actually denying the British public all the skills, all the experience, all the competence of those people who could come here and work and be, of course, a benefit to um, the tax system. They could be taxpayers and therefore they can benefit us. I don't understand why the government's got such a block about this. So I would, I would suggest to the Noble Lord the Minister, he's clearly a stupendously intelligent person, and I do wonder if he himself has read the report, and if he did, if he might have a slightly different response from that from the government, which I think is quite inadequate. Uh, my Lord, I appreciate the opportunity to make a small contribution to this debate and 